Ryan McCormick here with Marauder Sports Broadcasting Network. Uh, standing next to me, Coach Whittison. And uh, Coach, wanted to ask you a couple questions regarding this week's Final Four in Pensacola, Florida. Um, coming into uh, you know the, the recent matches, all have been at home, mm -hmm. and now a, a big travel test uh, on the road. What is the uh, uh, factors as far as preparation goes into uh, you know preparing for a game like this against a, a very strong Fort Lewis team? Uh, you know, this has been a, a different experience because it's the first time we've been in the Final Four. So, you know, we had a few days off with the Thanksgiving break, obviously, and, uh, you know, two weeks from the last game to the next game almost. So, you know, our preparations have, uh, have been a little bit different to the uh, to the usual stuff. So, you know, we uh, we gave the guys a couple of days off, so hopefully they're nice and refreshed and ready to go now. You know, we've got a long travel day tomorrow, so we've got to get that out of our system before we play on Thursday. But I think we focus. We've been working very hard. Practices have looked good. So, you know, we're just looking forward to getting down to Florida now. Yeah, tomorrow, 5 a.m. departure from here yeah. uh, in the Philadelphia to fly out from there. Uh, flights at 9.30 or so. And, uh, you know, it's something a lot different in Division Two. You know, Division One. there's a lot of traveling, more, uh, you know, uh, uh, aviation and, and flying around the uh, country. But, you know, D2, you really don't see that as much. So uh, can you speak to that? There's jet lag saying, but, again, you don't play till Thursday. So uh, yeah. you guys should be ready to go. Yeah, no, that that helps. So we've got that date in the middle. So and you know we've we've done quite a bit of traveling this year and, and before. So I think we're used to it. it. We're more used to doing it on a bus. So you know it's probably going to be more comfortable with a flight. But it's still a lot of sitting around and in the airports and just dead time. So you know the most important thing is just to get that fatigue out of their legs, which we will do starting as soon as we get down there on Tuesday night. You know then we'll get a good practice session in on Wednesday, and we don't play until late 8 p.m. local time on Thursday. So we've got plenty of time to recover. You know we're, I, I think we should be fine. And then Fort Lewis coming in and playing them, a 22-1 and one team, uh, actually only lost to Metro, their, Metro State, their first uh, opening uh, uh, week games. And then next two times, seeing them in the uh, uh, Central Final, and they, they beat them the, previous, the next two. So uh, can you tell us about Fort Lewis, what they bring to the table, and uh, a little bit about their team? Obviously a very good team, um, you know, their record shows that, but their, uh, their history and their background shows that as well. Uh, you know, they've been there, they've done it before. So, you know, they've got experience under their belt and a very strong team. But, you know, we feel we've got a good team as well. You know, records don't always tell the, uh, tell the story. You've got to make the, uh, uh, or you've got to put in the performance on the day. And we've certainly been able to do that. So they're a strong team. They're a very dangerous team. You know, if we can keep it tight, maybe even edge ahead, you know, we'll see what happens because they're not used to being behind and, uh, and being pushed, uh, you know, for 90 minutes. So that's our aim is to keep it as tight as we can see if we can get ahead and uh, you know just defend as well as we have done in the last uh, several games of the postseason all right Ryan McCormick here with coach Steve Whittison Ryan McCormick here with MSBN Broadcasting Network senior defenseman John Claffey and uh, John and the boys are ready to get uh, going in Pensacola Florida facing Fort Lewis number three ranked team in the nation 22 and one John you played 83 straight games since you've been on campus starting all four years uh, a very durable uh, defender you are, you're doing such a great job this year and wanted to ask you, you know, what, what does that mean having that senior leadership in the back, uh, being able to be out there every game, um, you know, just being behind, uh, you know, in front of Brad Benzing and, and behind your attacks and Andrew Dukes and, and Roland. Well, you know, it's, it's great. Since I was a freshman, I was lucky enough to come in, have the opportunity to prove myself and, you know, gain that starting spot next to Yoder. And throughout the years, you know, what has been made, he's made sure to protect us and make sure if we have any kind of injury we're in the training room all the time um, you know he looks after us and I've been fortunate enough to stay away from any major injuries you know I've had a little surgery here and there but you know not, nothing too serious so it's great awesome and then uh, coming in this Thursday uh, Pensacola Florida uh, playing Fort Lewis and uh, I asked coach Whittison you know if there was any different uh, you know preparation techniques or anything you know you needed to do a little extra uh, obviously a great team, but um, you know, what are the steps that you take? You're so used to playing at home these, these last couple weeks from the uh, PSAC championship and then the regional tournament. So uh, different preparation, how you're getting ready for it, uh, sleeping patterns, uh, hour behind. So, Well, you know, it's always great having the home field advantage, having this, our, our stands and our fans. You can't match it. But with practice and everything, we kind of just go on. We're doing our thing, what we've done every, you know, every day, going in and out of practice. And we're ready for it. You know, we're going to go down there. We're not going to change anything up too much. I mean, obviously, you get a little nervous, so you might lose a little sleep here or there. You know, it's a big game. You know, Fort Lewis is a great team. But we're looking forward to the challenge, and we're going to go in there. And, you know, we're confident and expecting we're going to get the two results that we need down there. And last question, um, are, are you planning on tanning at all? Because the, the weather should be pretty beautiful. Obviously, it's <laughs> actually warmer than, uh, you know, usually here today. But 
again, um, you got to enjoy the experience. And, and your last senior year here, it's just it's a great way to go out. I know last year, uh, baseball team and myself going down to Cary, North Carolina, was just you know the, the best award you can ask for as an, as a senior. So uh, you know you're looking forward to that uh, uh, traveling and, and just going out with a bang. Yeah, I mean it's going to be an amazing experience to go down there and be part of this whole Final Four. Um, at the same time, we know we are down there for business. You know, we're we're traveling down there with one thing in mind, that's to win a national title. So you know, at the same time, we might be getting some sun, but you know, we're down there with one goal, and that's to win. We're gonna have some fun, but at the same time, we're going to get down there and hopefully get those two results. Ryan McCormick here with Marauder Sports Broadcasting Network. John Claffey and Millersville traveling to Pensacola, Florida this Thursday. Make sure you're tuning in to MSBN and Millersville Athletics all week long.